Hi, this is Rick Rise from HighDefColor.com. Welcome to today's tutorial on assigning color profiles in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Here I have uh, uh, an image here, a uh, fashion shot, and uh, you'll notice here that this image is tagged with the sRGB color profile. sRGB, short for standard RGB, is a simplified RGB color space that uh, was uh, created in, in the mid 90s or so and uh, standard RGB basically kind of uh, leaves things to the lowest common denominator as far as a uh, how a monitor displays color so the the color is kind of uh, muted and uh, the way we uh, assign profiles in Photoshop is done through the edit assign profile now you'll notice here that uh, we are in uh, sRGB right now, um, but you'll notice that we have uh, various options as far as what RGB color space to use. Uh, the preferred color space that I like to use is the Adobe RGB color gamut. You'll notice that uh, when we switch back and forth what it does to the colors. The colors are, are much more vibrant because of the Adobe RGB is a, a larger color gamut than the standard sRGB. We'll switch back here and notice exactly what happens with the color. Uh, I want to point out that um, I have a few spots here highlighted. You have a skin color here marked uh, eyedropper number two. You'll notice the uh, the values here, and also uh, up on the uh, on the cheek here, uh, color spot uh, number one, uh, the RGB values here. Uh, keep in mind to take a look at these numbers as we toggle back and forth from sRGB to Adobe RGB, you'll notice that the numbers stay the same. Now, we have the same numbers, but different color spaces. Therefore, you'll notice that uh, also reflecting the smaller color gamut with sRGB. Again, uh, this is important because this will have a, a big effect on how this image converts to CMYK. So depending on the image, you'll notice here that with the uh, Adobe RGB, the color is much more saturated and almost uh, it has a, uh, a look to the skin that uh, may not be really wanted. So uh, in an image like this, you may want to keep it as standard RGB. Or if you're looking for that extra punch, go ahead and, uh, and use the Adobe RGB. I have another example here. This image here it has uh, various RGB color swatches. Uh, a, a football and also uh, a uh, rasterized illustrator document and uh, same thing applies with this image here you'll notice that uh, by using the sRGB the standard RGB uh, the color looks alright but then you also have some other options to make the color more vivid and convert to the uh, or I should say not convert but to assign the Adobe RGB profile for a much highly saturated color this will have an effect when you convert this to CMYK. Visit blog.highdefcolor.com for more info.